good morning dear children today we shall talk about the important role of judiciary judiciary is also one of the important organ of the government who used to settle the disputes which arises in the nations we see during the time of these declarations of memorandum when there was a protesting movements violent movements dispute which happens in the nations during that time it was the judiciary who settled the issues and finally declared that these memorandum as well as the reservations of scvc bill is valid in the nations so dear children any kind of disputes which arises in the nations it is the duties as well as the responsibilities of the judiciary is to settle the matter here because here judiciary is also called the independent institutions who settle the disputes in the nations who settle the entire disputes any kind of disputes which happens between government which happens between citizens which happens between any kind of peoples in the societies uh, it might be criminal activities violent movements so all these activities as well as these issues all these are going to be settled by the judiciary that is why judiciary is very very important in the nations here so here all the courts at different levels in a country it is putting together and it is called judiciary so what is called judiciary here so we are putting all the courts at different levels in our country and when we are putting together it is called the judiciary so dear children here judiciary is very very important in our nations since it is settling the disputes it is settling many kind of issues in the societies so here the indian judiciary it is consisting of supreme court uh, for the entire nations and high court for the states and district court for the local level and here the supreme court which used to controls the entire judicial administrations so who is controlling the entire judicial systems in our society already i have told you that in our judiciary systems the supreme court it is for the entire nations the state high court it is for the state level the court at district level it is for the local levels so here the entire judiciary systems is controlled by the supreme court here and whatever the decisions which are made so all these decisions which are made at supreme court it is binding the other courts in the nations that is why the decisions of supreme court is final so here the supreme court is controlling all these judicial administrations all these judicial systems in the nations that is why supreme court is the highest court in india so whenever there will be a big issues which are not settled at any court such as district court state court during that time we used to take the help of supreme court and here this supreme court who used to give the final judgment or who used to settle the disputes which are happening in the nations here let us see what are the different kind of functions what are the different kind of functions these supreme courts are taking so let us discuss one by one so dear children when there will be disputes between citizens of the country during that time the supreme court will settle the matter here or sometimes when there will be any kind of confusions between citizens as well as between government during that time the supreme court will sort out the issues settle the matter and will give final judgment here and sometimes we see when there will be more fightings between two states between two or more states uh, it might be due to river issue or any kind of geographical boundaries issues or any kind of issues during that time we see that we have the supreme court who used to settle the matter between two states government here 
and here if there will be any kind of confusion which will happen at union government as well at state levels during that time also the supreme court will give the final judgment by looking into the matter will see these interpretations of the law and will give final judgments between the government as well as between uh, the state level as well as, as well as at the union level so dear children the supreme court it is considered the highest court for civil as well as criminal cases so whenever there will be a very big issues in the society so it is the supreme court that will give the final judgment here and sometimes whenever there will be a appeals against the decisions of the high court during that time it is the supreme court who will give the final judgment here because in india the supreme court is considered the final court where we have to uh, hear the final judgment from the supreme court so dear children as we are talking about the system of judiciary and which is the independent institutions and this independent judiciary which are not controlled by the legislatures executives as well as the they are not acting on the directions of the government because they are one of the independent organs of the government who used to work on the interpretations of the law so they used to act according to the constitutions so dear children here we used to understand that the judges of the supreme court as well as the high courts all these are made or appointed by the president of india by having the advice of prime ministers as well as the consultations of the chief justice of supreme court when the appointments are going to make during that time the prime minister will give advice as well as with the consultations of the chief justice of supreme court the appointments of judges of supreme court as well as the high courts are going to happen here so after that dear children we see we understand that the senior judges of supreme court it is mostly appointed by the chief justice of india and it once the appointments are made it's very difficult to remove the judges of supreme court as well as the judges of high courts unless we have the impeachment motions so unless they find a strong accusations against the judges uh, the imp impeachment motions will be carried out and with these impeachment motions we see we need to have the two third majority supports from these two houses and unless we have the supports from the two houses two third majority supports from this two houses of parliament it's very difficult to remove the judges so when we have the two third majority support from these two houses of parliaments with these impeachment motions we can remove the judges of high court as well as the judges of supreme court and here the most important responsibilities of the supreme court as well as the high court is to interpret the law inter means to have interpretations of these constitutions they used to interpret the constitutions here and here during the time of forming a law sometimes we see that uh, if the legislatures or the executives uh, they are making law in the nations and when they are making law for the nations and those laws are if the laws are going against the constitutions during that time the courts the the supreme court who used to declare invalid why because those kind of laws are invalid because it is going against the constitution so here we see that the actually judiciary is very very important institutions here because they are safeguarding the indian constitutions they are giving protections to the constitutions protections to the government protections to the citizens giving justice to the people here that is the judiciary is very very important and also further we said that or we learned that these constitutions of india it's not going to be changed 
or it cannot uh, the constitutions cannot be changed by the parliament here sometimes we see in our societies there are certain issues uh, where the rights of the citizens are violated and during that time it is our duties as well as the responsibility to take the help of court and when our rights are violated which is questioning the public interest during that time we can seek the help of court to give the final judgment to give the justice to the peoples and we see the public interest litigations and in public interest litigations we see and we understand that so in public interest litigations we see that the public interest is hurt by the government during that time we can approach the court and those kind of things is called public interest litigations so in public interest litigations the court will intervene the matter and will give final judgment to the peoples so this is how my dear children in our nations the judiciary is playing very important role in providing justice to the peoples giving final judgments regarding different kind of disputes in the society because this judiciary is not controlled by anyone they are independent they are independent organizations independent institutions who are acting on the basis of the law because they are working by following the constitutions of india that is why the judiciary is very very important in our society because it is providing judgment to the peoples giving justice to the peoples they are providing legal justice to the peoples that is why the judiciary is very very important in our nations thank you my dear children for listening to me